question is how you compute learners grade grades and what criteria do you consider also ask how are the grades or performance reported to parents okay first of all our class record is given by the department of education so this is a memo since 2015 or 2016 um, there are three uh, criteria to be considered in uh, computing the grades of our learners and they are <clears throat> divided into three different uh, percentages uh, the first one is the written work uh, the performance task and the quarterly test uh, by subject learning area there is a different way of uh, there are different ways in computing the uh, percentages for example in in languages just like um, English and Filipino, same as with ESP and Aralimpan Lipunan, for the written works, um, that is 30%, yung performance tax, that is 50%, and then yung quarterly test is uh, 20%. But then in other subject learning area, there are different uh, ways of computing that. I mean, uh, for for the performance task or the written works in um, science and math that is 40 percent magiba siya dito magiba siya dito kapag ibang subject and then yung sa mape at saka EPP ang written works nila doon is 20 percent lang for periodic test naman for tao ito um, languages just like English and Filipino AP and ESP, 50% yung performance task. Okay, yung performance task, ang dyan na. Yes. Um, tapos, uh, pag um, science and math naman, 40% lang yun. Tapos, kapag MAPI at saka TLE, dahil ito ay mga subjects na talagang kailangan ng galaw-galaw, yes. talagang output ang tinitignan, that is 60%. Napakalaki. Depende po gawin sa subject. Uh, Nakadepende siya kung anong subject yun. Okay. Tapos, sa uh, uh, quarterly assessment naman, pare-parehas na siya, na 20%. Okay. Uh, so, ito, itong binigay na sa amin na ganito, talagang mas madali nang mag-compute. Kasi, lalagay mo lang yung uh, highest grade score dito, o yung, yung, yung ilan lahat yung mga, yung items nila, tapos, i-encode mo na rin yung mga scores nila, at one glance, matapos mo na yung grade ng mga bata. Basta, kompleto lang yung mga uh, data na kayo. Yes, sir. And then, paano nyo po ito i-discuss ngayon for the, for the parents of... Okay. Uh, uh, during um, orientation, the beginning of classes, before classes actually, yes. uh, nagkakaroon kami ng uh, parents orientation program. Yes. Wherein, we are discussing the different rules, guidelines, and other uh, things to be discussed to the parents. And one of the topics there is how are we going to compute their grades or the what we call grading system. Um, balik na tayo sa dating way ng, ng pag-grade unlike during the pandemic, walang quarterly assessment. Ito, 50-50. Okay, walang quarterly assessment noon. So, ang written works is 50, performance test is 50. Hinati lang siya sa dalawa. Pero ngayon, dahil bumalik na tayo sa face-to-face -face classes, uh, meron na ulit tayong quarterly assessment. So, tapos pag uh, karun, uh, at the end of the grading period, ang nangyayari dyan, nagkakaroon kami ng tinatawag natin na card day. Sinasabay na rin namin dito ang TTA, uh, homeroom TTA, na kung saan dinidiscuss namin saan nga ba nag-exile yung mga bata natin, ano nga ba yung tulang nila, tapos nagkakaroon kami ng conference, one-on-one -on -one conference with the uh, parents na sa tingin namin yung mga bata ay kailangan nila ng uh, reinforcement sa bahay or kung mayroong mga, mga tanong yung mga magulang ayun yung dinadala namin sila dito sa table tapos ididiscuss sa kanila yung mga nakuha ng mga anak nila. Thank you sir. Okay, you're welcome.